Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can have conversations with your large language model by audio, meaning there's no need to type any text if we don't want to. We can do this completely uh, with audio, so we can speak to the model and the model can give us an answer as well. And there's no need for to write any single line of code for that, but we need Python installed on a machine. I'm gonna show you how it works. Now, I came across a, a very interesting project which is called Always Ready here on GitHub. And this is the repo we need to clone. Um, in order to use it. So uh, to do this, what you do is you basically uh, go to always ready, uh, go to the GitHub link and you run a git clone command in a specific folder so to download all these files. Could take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take too long at least. Now after downloading this, I would recommend that we set up a virtual environment um, to install the packages uh, because this keeps our original Python installation very clean. So to do this, you can open a terminal inside, for instance, your folder. In my case, the folder which I used was called audio uh, AI. And then all I did was I run a Python, if Python is installed in the system, and then uh, dash M, so make V, ENV, and V, ENV. That just means I want to create a virtual environment and the name of the virtual environment is V, VNV. No, that's that's all it does. And uh, that's how we keep our uh, original Python installation clean. That's that's the only reason for that. Now, uh, in the folder itself, uh, let me just go back. Then it looks like that. I have here my virtual environment installed with the command I've, gonna sh I've, sh I've shown you. And then I also um, here uh, downloaded from GitHub in the same folder, in the audio AI folder, is always ready. By simply running the git clone command. So all you do is you go um, inside the folder in the terminal as well. Again, so let me just open this. Uh, when I'm here inside this audio AI folder, I just run uh, git clone and then the GitHub URL, and then you download the whole complete folder in doing all the files. Now, after doing this, what we need to do is we need to install the packages, and this can be done with the installation guide, which is also on GitHub. So quite simple, let me just scroll down a little bit. And there, if we go to the setup, in this case, click here, then we can uh, use here these instructions. And that depends on the operating system. It, with Linux and Mac, it might be a little bit different, but in this case for Windows, which is my operating system, it's quite simple because the first step I've already shown you, you clone the repository. The next, you can navigate to the directory. You go into the directory and then you run the setup.py. So this setup.py file inside the folder, so you go in here, go to this always ready in here, and there is a setup.py file. Let me just go, where is it? Down there, this one here, you need to run it. So simply run it in the terminal and then it will start install all the packages. So basically there's a requirement txt file and uh, then installs all the necessary libraries, the Python libraries for you. So again, there's no need to write any code, just um, put in the command prompt, run setup.py, so Python setup.py and then uh, it, everything gets installed. So after this, um, then uh, we need to go inside, where is it? The config.py and the .vnv file. These are the two files we need to configure. Um, why is that? Because there we need to decide whether we want to run, uh, in this case, um, the whole setup with, for instance, ChatGPT. So this would mean we require an OpenAI API key or, or with any other kind of model. There are various models. I'm going to show you this in just in a second. Or we can also run it completely local for free. So without any internet connection, that would also be possible. So uh, let me just go to those two files. So let's go inside the folder again in here. And then you can see there is a .vnv file. This is this one here. And there's also a .conf, uh, .config.py file in this case. So for the uh, env file, I just opened the example for now. So you can see what it looks like. Let me just open this in the um, Visual Studio Code. Let me go in here. And yes, so always. And you can see that's what it looks like. So this is uh, the .vnv file, the example, and this is the same as the .env file looks like. But I'm just showing you the example here, but you need to go to the .env file and then answer, uh, insert the key, or the keys, uh, depending on what kind of model you want to use. So um, you can see there are a lot of models available. So we can use together, for instance, you can use OpenAI, we can use Entrophic. So if you want to use Claude, you can also do this. Perplexity is available, Open Router API, and Grok in this case. So um, just decide what kind of model you want to use, or if you say, I don't want to use any of these uh, models, I want to use it public, uh, uh, privately with Olama, you can do this as well. So um, then you go inside the config.py, let me just open this one here, and this is uh, where you can actually um, specify what you want to use. So for example, um, there inside this, let me just show it to you. So there, uh, there are the hotkeys. These are the default ones which we're going to use. You can change them in here if you want to click on other keys on your keyboard in order to start uh, the voice assistant. That's up to you. You can change it here if you want. But the important thing here are these settings here. So if you want to use it with Olama, so completely local, you need to, um, in this case, um, these are called comment out. You need to uncomment this, and then you can need to specify here what kind of model uh, uh, completion. It's Olama, it's fine. Here, the model itself, 
In this case, I tried llama 3.18 billion, and then the local host is the same as for everyone that's in the inserted there by default. So you just need to make sure that you install Olama first. Um, you can do this, simply go Google for Olama if you want to do this, um, or have a look at another video which I've uploaded. But basically, you can check if Olama is running. Uh, if you go here and say, for instance, Olama, if you just run Olama in here, you can see that uh, currently Olama for me is running, and I can see here all the commands. And just if I want to check what kind of models you have installed, you can say Olama and then list, right? And you can see in this case, I have two models, which is Llama 3.1, uh, a billion mo version here, and I have the Alibaba Quen 2 model in this case. And you can download additional models if you want to do that, right? If you only run Olama run and then the model name, for instance, if the model is not already downloaded for you, it will download the model first. So just to mention that. Um, also, you can remove models, by the way, if you don't want to keep the models anyway. But this is uh, just Olama for now, and you can use this if you want. Or you can use uh, one of the others, which are available. But for the other models, as I said, you need to have, for the specific model, you need to set up the uh, OpenAI, or not the OpenAI, but the API key, uh, depending on your choice, in the .env file. And then you need to uncomment what you want to use. So, for instance, if you want to use and traffic model, you can uncomment this one. In my case, what I decided, I went for Grok because for Grok, you can get uh, free resources. You can play around with this for free and Grok is also the fastest. As far as I know currently, or one of the fastest of at least uh, models. So I can use Llama 3 with the 7 billion version here um, from Grok and I don't have to pay anything just for testing. So that's why I decided for this one. But as I said, if you want to use this, make sure that under the uh, in this case, .env, again, I go to the example file, but then you need to specify here the key, right? If you need to put this in here, and then the grok mode can be used. So that is it basically for the setup. And the last thing after doing all of this is simply just starting the, the bat file on Windows. So if you go to always ready in here, let's go in here, there is a actually .bat file, where is it, uh, which you can run. That's probably the uh, easiest way to do it. This is this one here. And let me just double click on here. And you can see that now, in this case, uh, the specific, um, well, um, always ready is uh, running. So you, now you can chat with your audio, um, in this case, large length model. So with your auto chat bot, right? So I just need to ask a question and uh, need to put in, of course, the, the hotkey, which either the default one, or if you have changed it uh, in here, let me just show you this again, in the config file, right? Scroll up here, these are the hotkeys. So if I want to, instance, uh, start a new jet, I need to do this. If I want to record something, so if I want to talk to the model, I need to press Control, uh, in this case, Control, Alt, and R, but you can change it here in the, the hotkey settings if you want to change it and use a different command, right, on your keyboard. So let's go back to the uh, bot file. Also, let's open this one, which is this one, this one here. So let's go here, and then let's actually get started. So let me just, for instance, ask a question, and let's see what kind of response we get. So I press my hotkey, so Alt, R, and R. So how many people speak German? Around 99 million people speak German as their first language. So you see, that's basically how it works. So you might also be able to change the, the voice. Um, might be the case. I have not checked out all the specific uh, files and folders in this uh, um, in this GitHub repo here, but uh, you can see it's quite easy, right? So the setup itself, and then um, just specify what kind of model you want to use, and then press your hotkeys. And by the way, I just want to mention this, uh, when I stop recording, so before the model can answer, I need to press Control, Alt, and R again, right, to stop my recording. Otherwise, the model is still um, listening to what I'm saying, um, so just need to put... Uh, put the hotkey first, um, then start recording, then put the hotkey again to stop it, and then you get the response. And you can see that it's really quite fast, right? With um, uh, with Croc, at least. So uh, let me try this again. Um, who is Naruto? Naruto Uzumaki is the main protagonist in the popular Japanese manga and anime series Naruto created by Masashi Kishimoto. From my point of view, this is really impressive because there was no need to set up any, well, heavy infrastructure. There was no need for us to first, for instance, convert um, the audio into text and then send the text to the model, get the text uh, or the answer and response, and then also convert this to audio again. All this was done for us simply by running here the script itself. And the setup also was quite easy. Um, all you need to do again one more time is to install Python, make sure this is installed, then clone the repo, go through the installation steps, and um, then basically insert or change the config settings and change also uh, the uh, .env file to make sure that your key is uh, there specified. And then you can decide what kind of model you want to use. If you want to go with the well models which you have to pay for, or you can also go completely local with Olama if you want to do this. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, uh, please give this video a like. Also share your comments. Um, 
Um, did you like it? Have you tried it out? Any well feedback from your side? Just let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.